Jackie? Hey, what's going on? Look, Bobby, Nicholas has a stick on that toe. It's for the 4th of July parade. Ooh, feel his new haircut, Bobby. Neat! No, thanks. You're just jealous, Bobby. I'm not. Are too? No, I'm not. Cuz, cuz, I'm getting a tattoo and a new haircut, too. What? I'm getting a tattoo and a, and a haircut, too. <laughs> That'll be the day. In your dreams. Your nose is growing. What? What? You're forgetting your parents. They're too overprotective to allow it. Your parents are worse than mine. And I've got to get permission to ask permission. I can't even catch a cold without asking. Admit it, Bobby. Your mother still picks the color of your underwears. Y you'll see. I'll show you all at the parade tomorrow. Whoa! <laughs> sure, Baba. Hey, Babo! How about a noogie? Later, Uncle Ted. Hey, Ruthie, you're gonna ride with me again this year? Oh, <laughs> Ted, no. My stars, no. Last year was enough for me. Oh, don't worry. That was just a freak accident. We're not behind the horses this year. Hey, Dweeb, better finish decorating your trike if you want to be in the parade. Oh. The parade starts at 1. We need the horses by noon. Of course we need the horses. How else do you pull a Conestoga wagon? I can't use the tractor. It's pulling the hay ride. Look, I'll call you back. Here's my Captain Squash glow-in-the-dark, soap-resistant, personalized stick-on tattoo. Go get him, Bobby. Mom! If I have to wear this or kill for the cry I, it's a privilege to be in the court of Miss Elephant Lodge, don't you know? <laughs> I'll die of public Mom. humiliation. Mom! Mom! Well, I cannot wait, hon. I gotta help your father. He's the big enchilada this year's 4th of July parade. The big enchilada? What is it, Bobby? I want to wear this Captain Squash tattoo and get a buzz cut for the parade. <laughs> Hon, there's no time for a haircut. But, Mom... Bobby, you won't look like my little Mansie in the 4th of July family photos, don't you know? But, Mom... Maybe when you're Derek's age. Mom, I'll never be Derek's age. He's always older than me. Bobby, a buzz cut is just out of the question, and don't bring it up again. Like that's gonna stop me. I'm a kid. Dad! Well, I, I kind of like... Oh, me too. I think Bobby would look so cute with the summer cut. Howard! Ruthie, this is not open for a Meet the Press debate. But, Mom... Uh, Bobby, dear, why don't we go outside and decorate our tricycle for the parade? Our tricycle? You can always tell there's trouble when your stuff becomes our stuff. Hey, Babo! Want to go to elephant patrol practice with me? No, thanks. Okay. Duty calls. <laughs> oh, Dad! Looking good. Oh, don't encourage him. Ruthie, I'm sorry I took your head off back there. Oh, well, it was nothing. It's just that things get so hectic when the Royal Order Elephant's Lodge puts me in charge of the parade, you know. What's a stupid parade all about anyway? Well, dear, it celebrates the 4th of July, when our forefathers declared their independence from the king. Independence? Uh, yes. You see, they wanted the right to do what they wanted to do instead of taking orders from the king. The king? I'm ready to take care of business. Who's next? Your Majesty, the representatives from the American colonies. Your Majesty, I am Bobby Franklin, and these are the forefathers. We're here to make our decoration of independence. I don't want to be cruel, but it's uh, impossible. Then you force us to fight for our freedom. We protest your policy of taxation without representation and no TV on school nights. Only fools rush in here with such statements. Your courts are unjust, and so is coming home before the streetlights are on. Uh, I'll have to think about that. Hmm. Wait, I haven't finished. I'm 
sorry. The king has left the building. But it's not fair! Uh, what's not fair? Why, whatever are you talking about, Bobby dear? Well, today is the 4th of July, and it's when we tell the king something is not right. And if he doesn't listen, you get to do it because you're right. Or because it's right. Yeah, that's that's right. So, so, it's my right to get a bus cut. Right? No! Is that your answer? Yes! Yes? No! I mean, yes! N no is our answer. In that case... So, like, what's with the tattoo? This is my Declaration of Independence. Wonder what I get to do what I want to do. Hey, Babo! Down in the dumps? No, I'm right here. <laughs> well, then why the long face? I was born this way, Uncle Ted. No, those are just expressions, Babo. And adults think we talk funny. Oh, I know what'll cheer you up. Noggies! <laughs> now, come on. Tell your Uncle Ted what's bothering you. Well, it's just... See, I put on this tattoo because I really need... Oh, this sounds serious. Maybe I should get a paper and pencil so we could write Dear Flabby, huh? I want a buzz cut. Well, does that all? A buzz cut? <laughs> I love buzz cuts. Hey, they're great for noogies. You know, you're in luck, Babo. I just got a franchise in the new and expanding world of do-it-at-home makeovers. Wow! I'm gonna get my first buzz cut! <laughs> This'll put the buzz in your buzz cut as soon as I hook it up to your dad's gas-powered leaf blower. Hey, 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 hey! Put it in park there, Mr. Barbershop Duet! No disrespecting son of mine is gonna wear a buzz cut in my house because... Because he won't be Bobby anymore. He'll be, he'll be a buzz cut boy. Oh, 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 oh that's an oops. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, sis. I, I thought I was helping out. No buzz cut. Then I'm never gonna go inside the house again. Well, suit yourself, Montad. Sorry, Bobbo. Hmm, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> okay, Roger. We're gonna stay here for as long as it takes. Oh, this ice cream is so good. Oh, that's right. You're not coming in the house ever again. Guess I get yours too. Mm -mm. Traitor. Bobby, um, want to come in and like watch TV? No. Oh. Well, guess you'll miss Captain Squash then. Captain Squash? I forgot. It's a 4th of July special. Nice revolt, dweeb. Okay, kids. Let's get it in gear. Time to go. Ready, Mom. Kelly! Bobby, Mom! Come on, that won't look good if the parade director's family's late to the parade, you know. If you're not going, I'm not going. <laughs> look at me. I look like a walking pierce drape. I think you look good. Thanks, Bobby. Okay, clue me in. What's the real reason you don't want to go? Did you ever say you were going to do something that you couldn't do? Oh, I am so there. Okay, so like you bragged all over your munchkin friends about a buzz cut, right? And when you don't show up with one, they're gonna tease you to death. No. Uh, yeah. Okay, but all you have to do is cover all your hair. So they won't like see that you don't have a buzz cut. Uh, it's not gonna work. What do you use when you want to cover all your hair? I have got just the thing you can use. Great. But I'm still not going if you aren't. Look, Bobby, the parade will be lots of fun, you know, for someone like you. You don't want to miss out on that, and, and you can't really, you don't, you, you... Hand me my torch. Bring me your watchers, your gawkers, your huddled masses yearning to see me. Okay, listen up, everyone. Remember to keep your spacing. Always smile to the crowd. If you break down, move to the side of the parade route. Hey, like, that's a pretty cool outfit. <laughs> Thanks. I like it. You didn't get a buzz cut. Uh-huh. Did too. It's... it's under my hat. That's a shower cap. I know. Um, and, uh, I can't take it off because my hair's still wet. That's a fit. It's not. Then show it to us. <gasps> you have all your hair. What? I, 
I do! Oh, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah. In my family, our hair grows back uh, really fast. Why didn't you get your hair cut? Because my parents wouldn't let me. Hmm. Told ya. Hmm, you were right. Guess being a parent means never having to say yes. It's not fair. You can say that again. Okay, I will. It's not fair. What, am I alone on this? I wanted more allowance, but my parents said no. Yeah, I wanted a TV in my room. I wanted a pony. Let's not go overboard. You know what this day is all about? Independence. Gee, Bobby, that's very good. I didn't think you'd know. Okay, what's the delay? Come on, Bobby, you don't stop. You don't start now. You're gonna throw off the entire parade schedule. What's going on here? I want to get a buzz cut. What? A buzz cut? Now? Oh, now, now look what you've done. The, 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 the parents are coming. 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 Why are you waking me at this hour? The parents are coming. So? Don't you know? No, tell us. The parents are coming. It's our chance to be independent. But only if we work together. I have a plan. What's the plan? Nobody knows until my parents say I can get a bus cut. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm there. Sure. sure. Okay, young lady. Either start peddling or face the consequences. No fireworks display tonight. Independence is a lonely business. Yeah, well, it's high tide. You and I had a heart-to-heart chit-chat. You know, you really gave your dad a conniption fit at the 4th of July parade. Do you know this? But you said the 4th of July was all about fighting for stuff that you really wanted. And you really want this new buzz cut, don't you? Am I in trouble? No. You know, you remind me of me and your dad when we were kids. We thought hair was important, too. You did? Oh, sure. We used to rebel against our parents about haircuts, too. You and Dad were revolutionaries? Did you want short hair, too? Our parents did. We wanted long hair. Now, as a matter of fact, hair was so important that there was a musical show about it. Let's see. Here's a picture of your dad and me in high school. Power to the people! Peace and grooviness. What were you dressed up for? We were hippies. Well, at least in our own mind's eye. Oh. Oh, Bobby, you're my special boy. You always give my smile muscles our workout. You really want that haircut? Uh-huh. Well, I suppose we parents say no too hastily sometimes. Really? I can't wait to tell Uncle Ted! Hey, hey, now rein it in there, Mr. Paul Revere and the Raiders. There are a few rules. Rules? Number one, no getting it cut by your uncle, scissor hands, Ted. And number two, your hair has to grow out by the start of school. Deal? Deal! Can I get it now? Huh? Huh? Well, jumping Jehoshaphat. Okay, but we're gonna have to hurry. You're the greatest mom in the whole world. I'm gonna get a buzz cut. Now, walk it out here. We don't have a lot of time, and the barbershop's gonna close early today. It's the 4th of July. Welcome to Hair Today Gone Tomorrow. This is Master Hair Specialist Snurd. Uh, sorry, Stylist? Right. And this would be Master Hair Stylist Meeker. Howdy doody. We are graduates of the Barber Pole Academy of Hair Cutting for the Follicly Challenge. We cut hair the old-fashioned way. One strand at a time. <laughs> That's good. Sorry. So, what kind of haircut style Style do you want? Trim. Traditional. Razor. Flat top with fenders. Mohican. Jerry. Sinead. Bart. And last but not least, Elvis, the Hungry Years. Yeah, I wish. Oh, Bobby wants it. Well, well, you can tell him, hon. You're an independent young man now. I want a buzz cut. Oh, fine choice. Up to date. Good for summer. No lo problemo. One of the many amenities we offer, along with this plastic bag suitable for preserving your child's fallen locks at no extra cost, is a videotape of your child's haircut. So the glory of this moment can be watched again and again. Just call me Francis Ford Clippola. <laughs> <laughs> Tape rolling in. Action! Speed! You just got here right in time. We're closing early to celebrate Independence Day. <laughs> That's my hair. Huh? 
Won't you excuse me, uno momento? Don't worry, ma'am. We specialize in giving children's haircuts for the young man, a sucker. Well, this is kind of like putting the horse before the cart. Shouldn't you wait until he's done? Ordinarily, tradition would dictate that, but we are progressive in this shop. Ma'am, leave it to us. We're professionals. Haircuts, Haircuts are our life. life. Finito. You want to see how it looks in the back? Yeah. I see it. What do you think, Mom? Well, it's short. There you go, young man. And here's your tape and memento. Happy Independence Day. Be strong, man. Thanks. I feel independent. I can't wait to get home and show everybody my special haircut. They better get here soon. I don't want to miss the fireworks. Hey, let's tease Bobby. When they get here, let's not say anything about Bobby's haircut. Derek, that's, that's not very nice. He's always doing stuff to us. I'm all over that. Oh, I wish I would have thought of that. Oh, come on, Howard, it'll be fun. Okay, here they come. Now nobody say anything. Come on. Well, how do I look? Empty-handed, dweeb. You're the only one not carrying anything to the car. Okay, <laughs> I got the phone. <laughs> Bobby, hon, lock Roger in the house. What good is getting a special haircut if nobody notices? Wait a minute. Bobby? Do you have your seatbelt on? Yeah. Wait a second, something doesn't look right. Oh, I know what it is. You got your ears lowered. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes dads have their own sense of humor. Gotcha. You thought we didn't notice your haircut. We, we had you go in there, Bobble. The whole thing was my idea. <laughs> Ted made me do it. You didn't fool me. I knew what you were doing. Looks way, way. It's rad. I had the same cut in the army. You were a soldier with a gun, Uncle Ted? Well, sort of. I, <laughs> I was a cook with a spatula. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> Can I run my feet through your hair? Of course not, Aunt Ruth. This is my hair, not a rug. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? It kind of had a hard start, but this is turning out to be a great 4th of July, huh? Yes, and Didi. Oh, we're getting close. Okay, everybody, now let's practice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, now here's our really big one. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Howard. Ooh. Ooh. Howard. Won't be long now. It's almost dark. Bobby, your lips are trembling and blue. My head is cold. That's because you don't have any hair up there. Oh, here, sweetheart, wear this. You don't want to catch a head cold. I'm telling you, Ruthie's always prepared. You know, the time I had a vapor lock, Ruthie had a spare carburetor in her bag. Go figure. <laughs> okay, that'll keep out the cold. <laughs> nice, Dweebmeister. I didn't think you could look funnier than you did in Kelly's shower cap. <laughs> Yes, independence comes with a price, but it's a small price to pay for independence.